Oh, Kasane. Perfect timing. There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate. What? 200%? How can you be twice as right about something? Either way, I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Let's go get red together. You might gain some valuable information we can use in our upcoming fights. I doubt that, but fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. This really is a long line. I'm surprised so many people believe in something so unscientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. What's taking her so long? Did something happen? I should probably go look for her. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka, who are you talking to? Oh, Kasane. I I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu is on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I was surprised too. It seems the agents scattered around New Himuka are still active. They told me to come back and work with them. But why? Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's vast memory data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course not. I'd never do that. <sighs> There's still something worrying you. She told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Who do they think they are? I know, but it's true that I was created to fulfill Togetsu's plans. My brain, my body, and everything else. Mm. When I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it, but sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. You're not worthless at all. You've saved us countless times. We need the Kyoka who's here with us now, not Dr. Pope's memories. Thank you. You're right. I can't let them get to me. We should try to find out what the Togetsu remnants are up to so we can stop them. Do you have any leads? Not yet, but as long as they need me, they'll approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. I really don't want to get you involved. But I need your help. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh, I was hoping to get some good news. <sighs> Until now, I was your instructor and your commander. But now you're the one leading me. It makes me emotional. I wonder if I'll have to watch you leave the nest someday. I think you're getting ahead of yourself. I still count on you. you to get the wrong idea from this, but the more I learn about you, the more I like you. I like you too. There's nothing to misunderstand about it.
I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you alright? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Let's go, Mother. Is something the matter? I'm just happy you turned into such a fine young lady. It's not my place to say that, though. I'm sorry I left you behind and ran away. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. They were trying to kill you, and I don't remember much about being in Togetsu anyway. And after I came to Suo, I had my big sister. Then I have to say thank you to your sister. I'm sure she'll be happy. You still call me mother, even after everything. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunat Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunat Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunat Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station, or junction point, for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020, when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt. Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, 
We won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. I got the hang of using the red strings now. Yuito's here this time. I have to do this right. Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affected. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. So if our consciousness is made, is this other an illusion? It sure looks real. As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as if it was. We have to fight it. Useless. I'll do it! Check me!
is buzzing. It's weird. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. I feel it. All right. I know we can do it. Right, you tell? Yeah, right. Let's go. Useless. Check me. Great job. That was a good move. Bad thing to be the spot. This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive, and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused. But that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. We did unravel that entanglement, right? I think so, but something still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me. There's another one. Is that 50 years in the future? That should be gone. This is the other that attacked Yuito. I can still fight. Let's regroup. Push through. That seems to be the spot. Let's 
This future should now no longer exist. Have you ever thought about what you would do if you could travel to the past and change history? You mean, after we remove the Kunat Gate? Yeah. The ability to travel through time freely. That's the true power of the Red Strings. Right. If I could go back and save my sister, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought of it. I wanted to save Naomi. I just kept thinking there must be a way over and over again. Every now and then I'm reminded that I won't see her again, and it rattles me. Sure. If I could change history so Naomi wouldn't turn into another, if that was something I could actually do, I don't think I'd do it. Why? Because if you change the past, no one knows how it will affect everything after that. If we were in a different platoon, if we weren't scouted, if I was never adopted, is changing the past until I get the results I want really saving Naomi? And not just Naomi. It's not right to go back and change the lives of everyone in the world just for my own selfish desires. Yeah, I guess it's not right to mess with everyone else just to fulfill your wants. It's painful, and there's a lot of suffering we have to bear. But it's a burden we must carry. Sorry, it was weird of me to bring up. That being said, I am glad I asked. Because I was thinking the same thing. I'm relieved you agree. Oh. But this mindset is thanks to you. I've learned so much. The same goes for me. I think my old self would have come to a different conclusion. I mean... I don't think you would have even talked to me for this long, back when you first joined. You know, that's not... <sighs> okay, perhaps you're right about that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we travel to... No, now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. You only travel to those two times, right? Yes, I think those are the only ones. Isn't that... The Sumeragi Crest. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's Crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. <laughs> what? How? Former Major General Karin! going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. Let's take it down 
Okay, that should... <sighs> Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So... Did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi... What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it. I'm blacking... Yuito, Kasane! Mom? Mother. Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunat Gate... why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> huh? Leave the rest to me. W what? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M mother <sighs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back, Toketsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. No, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! <laughs> Yuito! Kasane, live on. Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for.
So today is the day. I may give you my brain, but you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yuito. Kasane. The body has been confirmed as the target, Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain, following protocol and retrieving her brain. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. Wakana knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement.
Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history. I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. That uneasy feeling we got when we unraveled the entanglement 11 years ago was because Mom's entanglement still remained. <sighs> That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones 11 years ago, 50 years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine. So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd ask, so I've been working on it. I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it. The mask. That explains everything. Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No. We might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did, but we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, 
Sumeraki tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The chief! Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually, I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. All right, let's head back. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi tomb. I guess I should talk to Kagero.
Okay. Thanks. I guess I should talk to Kagero. Thank you. Really? Thanks. Kasane, there's a workout I want to try. Would you mind helping me? Sure. What do I need to do? I'm going to do some bench presses, and I need more than the equipment weights. So I want you to use your psychokinesis to push the barbell down. Isn't that dangerous? It seems to me that the weights you have now are enough of a workout. No, I want a bigger challenge. Please. Okay, I'll give it a shot. <sighs> <sighs> You're not lifting the barbell up at all. Do you want me to stop using my psychokinesis? No, just a little more. I feel like I can do it with just a little more. He's either really persistent or really stubborn. I failed to lift it a single millimeter. Forgive me for wasting your time. Learning that workouts like this are unrealistic makes it not a waste. <laughs> That's harsh. It's going to be harder to reach my goal than I thought. Why are you in such a rush? You should have recognized that this was going to be impossible. 
I want to surpass my limits. You made me realize that the last time we talked. I was too caught up with having or not having my abilities. The important thing is what you do, not the method in which you do it. I guess I did say something like that. When I sat down and thought about what I wanted to do, a goal came to mind. However, the goal proved to be too big. Something I couldn't achieve without changing. What is it? To build a society in which duds are treated equally to others. Right now in New Himuka, people without abilities are treated like they don't even exist. That's true. I didn't even know what dud meant until the other day. The reason I'm so scared of losing my abilities is because I'm well aware of the state of our society. If that doesn't change, then duds like me will never be rid of that underlying anxiety. You're right, that is a big goal. But I don't know how it relates to that reckless training we just did. I thought I could break through my psychological shell and grow as a person by surpassing the limits of my physical body. If I'm going to change the entire country by myself, then I can't stay the way I am. I need to work even harder. If I don't, I'll never be able to accomplish it. I mean, it may be too large of a goal for me to ever accomplish on my own either way. Yes, this might be a bigger problem than what you can fix on your own, but that doesn't mean it can't be accomplished. Kasane? Look, what are you doing? If you carry it with your psychokinesis, it eliminates the whole purpose of the workout. In that case, I think the workout is unreasonable to begin with. You certainly are right about that. What I'm trying to say is that this barbell is the same as the problem with society. <sighs> you don't need to try and take everything on by yourself. There's something each of us can do. Nobody can change a country by themselves. So why don't we just work together as a group? I see your point, but I don't know if I'm capable of inspiring people to act like my brother. You remember what I said, but not what you've said yourself. What? Those with strong wills naturally draw people to them. You said that. Right now, you have a clear goal and will. I'm sure there will be people who will help you if you asked. I see. I suppose I can't argue against myself. It seems like I misunderstood what I need to do. I thought I needed to become stronger without anyone's help. But really, I was just making excuses because I was afraid to try. Once you take the first step, I doubt you'll find it that hard. <laughs> Easier said than done. But you're correct. I can't just stand here forever. Once the fighting ends, I'll do what I can. I'll raise support as I face this nation's issues. Even if things don't change right away, one day duds like me will be able to live their lives in the open, unashamed of who they are. I'll help you however I can, too. Thank you very much. Then could you start by returning the barbell? I'd like to resume my workout. Okay, but you're not going to do anything reckless again, right? Of course not. I'll be doing my normal workout. The best way to exercise is to go at your own pace. You still put on all the weights, though. I said that I would not be reckless. Not that I would go easy. Here we go. You really are stubborn. But maybe that's what makes you who you are. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. It doesn't seem like he's listening. He's having too much fun. I'll leave him alone. I have something to tell you, Kasane. I guess more of a confession. I... It takes me some time to truly trust a person. So, I may have been appraising you a bit when we first met. Are you saying you trust me now? Yes, of course. I trust you as a friend. I hope we can continue this way. <laughs> I'm so happy. It feels like we've become closer. Me too. I feel close to you. Maybe we just learned a lot about each other. <laughs>